What's up everybody? We are taking another crack at the remote control go-kart in a much safer manner this time. First, we are giving the engine about 10% of the power that it had in our first test. Secondly, it's gonna be an unmanned test. Third, we're doing it in the middle of a wide open field where there's pretty much nothing to hit of value or importance. And fourth, um, we just fine tune the, uh, the throttle and the steering so it's just easier to control in general. It's still very rough around the edges, but uh, it's very promising to see what we can do from here. We noticed we had a lot of comments from you guys like, wow, that thing took off last time. Yeah, it did. It's it's gonna be a Tillotson 212 with a stage two kit from Go Power Sports uh, with the hot 265 cam in it and a juggernaut torque converter driver. We already knew that was a fast setup, but it just put it into a whole new perspective when it's got someone on it full throttle and it's running away as fast as it possibly can. So if you want your go-kart or mini bike to have that level of performance, check out the parts in the description from gopowersports.com. And at checkout, let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you to get entered into their monthly in-store credit giveaway. All right, enjoy today's video. So this is the same cart that tried to kill me in the last episode, and we are addressing the issues that should have been addressed in the first place <laughs> to keep me from getting almost really badly hurt. Our buddy Michael's back here helping out and uh, tell us about the safety features man. So last time what happened was the wipe motor that we used has an internal gearing that when the wipe motor spins around the output shaft only goes left and right a little bit. So since we used that same motor for the brakes and the throttle when it went all the way to the end of the brakes the inside kept spinning which made it go back the other way and go full throttle which sent Ike Flying through a parking lot, which is, uh, <laughs> not the plan. So what we're, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make it so that on the brakes, it's not gonna be able to go past the end and go back to the throttle. We're also gonna make it so that the throttle only opens up a little bit. Then we're gonna add in some kill switches on the remote control. So if anything goes wrong, you flip a switch and it will just make the motor die immediately. And then we should be able to chase it down and figure out what happened and try again. Yep. Sounds so simple. Like, I'm thinking maybe something like that. Yeah, I guess that's almost double the distance before. Which so right now, before we try uh, remote controlling this go-kart again, we just have to fix everything that Ike broke when he hit the curb last time, uh, including the toe got all out of whack. We uh, bent some steering uh, tie rods on this thing. We also cracked the engine plate. So this is a American Express 2.0. Uh, from gopowersports.com. It's an awesome chassis uh, when you're running maybe up to 10 or maybe even 15 horsepower, but the engine we're running, we, we have on it, as we already discussed, makes, I don't know, 15, maybe even more horsepower, and it has the uh, juggernaut torque converter driver, so it makes a ton of torque. And so, uh, yeah, between the torque of the engine and when I hit the, uh, the curb, just put a big old crack in the uh, engine plate. There's the crack in the engine plate. We had to drill a hole right there for a catch can, and we figured it would be fine. Well, not so much. It probably would have been just fine if we didn't have that hole in there. So I just got to hold it. I'm going to weld it. And then we have a cross brace that's going to go right underneath the engine plate just for further bracing. potentiometer here that was going to go on the steering but we're tossing this out the window just because it's going to be a whole lot simpler without it sure it would be a lot more refined if we had a potentiometer but uh, we don't want to risk it breaking loose and falling off in this rough terrain and that would make it darn near impossible to control uh, so simplicity we're doing away with this so we have pretty much everything rehooked up steering linkage wiper motor i think michael's about to test our steering right yeah, so it just uh, made the, the arm here a little bit longer so that while we'll have less, you know, degrees of travel, we'll hopefully be able to actually turn the wheels. Because before we had some trouble getting from the right back to the left. It would really only want to steer in one half. Right. So uh, we hope to get a little bit more power by making this a little bit longer. So let's see if it'll turn. I mean, I feel like once it's rolling, you, you, you know, you can't yeah, compare it. Yeah, pick it up. Yeah. I picked it up a lot of the way. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Oh, it turned it, it around the, the, whole, the whole way around. Did we learn nothing? No, no, we learned. <laughs> uh, it's interfering yeah. with whatever that plastic so is. Th that's as far as it wants to go to the right. That 
that's as far as it wants to go. We are going to have to find some better wiper motors. Stronger wiper motors, yeah, for we sure. We also need to yeah. weld in some way to stop this at the end because a stop because we won't have the potentiometer tell us to stop turning. Right. So like, if you're holding on full right, it's going to spin in circles and yeah. rip tear itself to pieces. Um, so to, we need to weld in some stops. It's a bummer this can't get past here because if we get you know all the way out here, it'll be able to turn more, but. Well, we've got everything wired back up, a little bit better soldering, a little bit more hot glue, and with a lot less throttle and a lot more brakes. <laughs> so <laughs> basically everything that went wrong last time hopefully shouldn't go wrong this right. time. Yep. Okay. Well, the good news is I got the right sticks controlling the right thing. The bad news is, right is left and left is right. Nice. But, luckily, I've got connectors this time, so all i got to do is, uh, so, uh, let's go through brakes and throttle. Brakes, throttle. Brakes, throttle. And so full throttle only equals about 20% throttle on the, uh, engine, right? I think he says I'm, like, closer to 12, but, yeah. 12%? <laughs> yeah, no, even I'm, slower I'm the better, dude. An eighth. Perfect. One eighth throttle. Yeah. Uh, I would like to hold the back of it when we first crank it up and give it full throttle and just kind of see. Let's see. So how is it? Is it moving the, the steering on that side is good, but this side is really struggling. I don't know why. It seems like it's jiggling. Is it a loose connection? Like the lights on this thing are freaking out. <laughs> really does not want to turn left. It's not made for NASCAR, I guess. No. Well, we can give it a shot. I don't, I just don't understand like, why. Well, it could be a loose connection or... I think it's just like the, all the lights on the controller are freaking out. I just, I think it's just too much power. Too, too much amp something. draw or something? Yeah, it's trying too hard. But it's funny, it's, it only does it one way. And it's at that let's, just, let's just keep making right turns with it then. Okay. Let's uh, unplug it real quick so I can swap the directions. Okay, and see if it changes. It's not gonna change. It's just like right now you're not gonna you're gonna be confused steering. Okay. Left is right and right is left. I'll tell you what. I got an idea. To to um. Get rid of it. If there's a bad spot in that motor, I can just undo that arm, and kind of turn it a little bit, and, and then put the arm back else. on. It's, not... it's still a little chunky. I don't understand why the light on the other one is blinking when I'm going. Yeah. Yes. We got the brake supplied some. Hopefully it won't uh, go anywhere real fast. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that thing would have been gone. Yeah, it would have. How fast is it going to go top speed if I open it up? It might go 15 or 20. Make sure my, make sure my pocket because I got to tooth it down. How you feeling about this, Ike? Uh, yeah. I mean, you understand why I'm a little nervous since I went for a ride last time, right? Yeah. All right, I got to get the bolt to uh, plug up the power. Here we go. Are you ready, dude? No. I feel like it's gonna go fast. It is. 
Why? Wow. So, so did it take that long for you to hit the brakes? Uh, I'll try to get It's gonna go pretty fast. Well, so. well, well, can we make it go a little less fast? That is wild. <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. The ghost rider. So, does it go left and right or just right? I didn't. I mean, I was able to turn left. Uh, Try to go around the circle? Try to go around the circle. I just put the, I put the brakes on, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just don't know how to drive. This is the problem. Oh. I, I did a full soda? Well, but it had, I, I noticed it was starting to do Dude, it. Turns, it turns. It turns left. We got a NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> Much more successful than last time. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Really hard to get it to go slowly, right? So it just kind of picks up. Don't point it at me. <laughs> it doesn't really stop. Okay. Man, you did it. I guess so, you huh? Freaking did it. It kind of works. It's uh, it seems not to handle very well. I didn't crash it. <laughs> I didn't crash it. If we had put that potentiometer on the steering, you get a lot more fine-tuned control. Because right now, as soon as you give it, as soon as you give it steering, it wants to just start going steering until you tell it to go back the other way. Right. Whereas, so you can't be like go to like 10% steering. It's just gonna start steering at wherever you tell it to stop. Is where it's gonna stop. Yeah. It's hard to steer. <laughs> we need to uh, get a faster motor on the steering. I'm thinking a window motor. A window motor is going to be stronger and faster. Okay. So we can think about a window motor for the steering. Yeah. Didn't crash it. Drift it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do donuts. Chain came off. So I'm gonna get this chain back on. John, did you want to try? I really do. Okay, good. Let me get this chain on. Um, yeah, when I when I uh, put the motor on and I was tightening it down, the darn thing went a little loose when I tightened down the last bolt. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. So hot glue job's holding up. Honestly, pretty solid. A lot of grass in there, but it's not gonna hurt anyone. It 
it's going to continue to. It's going to keep going, so just like wait it out. Right. John, the go-kart whisperer. Oh yeah. All right, that's it. Chain's off. We got to get that chain tightened up, buddy. All that force is paying off. You're good at that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, playing car video games is coming in handy. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, how was it? Good. Um, you you seem to be able to control the speed a lot better than I was. It's uh, it definitely takes some getting used to, for sure. <laughs> Just like full of grass. Um, yeah. I think if we were to take this package <laughs> and put it on something that had suspension that had knobby tires, that wouldn't you know we wouldn't have to do so much counter steering. Um, and, and, yeah. That would be the ticket. Yeah, because this thing's spinning non-stop, yeah. and it's steering with the rear making us fight the front steer even harder. Right, and we need more responsive turning. I think potentiometers is kind of a, a must if we want to actually... Yeah, it'd be any good. Yeah, uh, and but, also, dude, an FPV camera, a live video feed mounted to the front of this thing. And we can yeah, put, so like, the drone goggles around. on. Yeah. yeah, that would be so cool. And then we can do, like, laps and stuff. Yeah, yeah we're a long way from there, but I mean, honestly, not that far. We don't, we, don't have any the, we don't have any of the parts we need, but like... Right. Well, we can get there. In we concept, can get yeah. yeah. Everything on there, we, we can just take it off and put it on a different um, different car. There's some parameters we can tune. Well, I got to say, I'm pretty excited over this. Yeah, this is very cool. This is pretty cool. I know we're not the first ones to do it, but I've been wanting to do this for a long, long time, and it's finally here. So the difference between our first test and our second test was so big. Oh, I think that's at least something to be proud of. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Who wants to go for a ride first? <laughs> I think you got to get back on the horse. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I <laughs> Is he going to wreck it? <laughs> Look at him go! Faster than the go-kart. He's out of my sight, buddy. All right, guys, I am not chasing that thing. I'm not chasing that thing down. I've already run enough. I'm hot, I'm sweaty. And uh, yeah. It steers better than I thought it would. Uh, it doesn't steer bad. Quicker steering it's would be hard, awesome. Uh-oh, he cut it off. He either wrecked it or the chain came off. <laughs> All right, guys, see y'all back at the shop. This uh, remote control go-kart is still very rough, but it's very promising. This is such a successful test today. So I think um, we need to adapt this kind of set or kit onto a off-road go-kart with knobby tires so we don't have to counter steer, something with suspension so it's easier on the electronics. And then thirdly, I think it would be awesome to mount a FPV drone camera on it so we have like live feed with like the goggles and stuff. Um, so anyway, if, if you want to see that, uh, also we need to add like not wiper motors, like window motors or some other stronger, quicker motor. But anyway, if you want to see that in another episode here on Cars and Cameras, let us know in the comments. And of course, subscribe and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today. Uh, today is the last day to get in on our Father's Day merchandise sale. We have 20% off all of our t-shirts on our website, cars-cameras.com. So if you want to pick one up, head over again to our website, cars-cameras.com. Got to thank our sponsor, Go Power Sports again. Uh, if you want to check out any of these parts, check them out at links in the description. And anytime you're placing an order on Go Power Sports website, let them know that Cars and Cameras sent you to get entered into their monthly in-store credit giveaway. Get yourself some sweet parts, get entered to win uh, some in-store credit, and also help support your favorite go-kart YouTube channel. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time. It's not very powerful, huh?
no, it's not. But again, no. But when grass, we're so when we're rolling, rolling, so loose terrain and moving, it's going to be a world of difference. Yeah. Lou, did you, did you not have it off the, the ground right there? No. It's no. Completely no. Off the Can you pick it up? Sure. Oh, it'll turn left and right. Yeah. Right? I mean, there's there's no way to. Okay. Too far. Went too far. Yeah. Wait, can you put it back? Sorry, sure. Time. The only way to really simulate it is to actually do it. But we're we're going to need to yeah. move this pivot point so we get a little more steering angle than that. Yeah. Sounds good. So we're getting close though. Especially when you, you know, do away with your tensiometer. Yeah. yeah. So it won't be a fine handling machine, but it'll turn. Hopefully it'll turn. <laughs> um, did we already adjust the throttle so that full? No, 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 okay. no, no. We have not done <laughs> It'll that be fine. Yet. That's our main safety feature, man. Yeah. So we have no other safety features. Yeah. If, this, like, if this thing goes full throttle, you'll never see it's it again. Going <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You'll never see it again.